approximations. Make sure your calculator is set to the degree mode. In this part, we are going to find the approximation for an angle theta. But we will need to use the inverse sine key, the inverse cosine key, and the inverse tangent key. In your calculator, you might see the arc sine button instead, which is the same as the inverse sine. Arc cosine, which is the same as the inverse cosine, and the arc tangent, which is the same as the inverse tangent key. Examples. We're gonna find the exact value of an angle theta. Exact value theta, that means it will be in a form of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, or the multiple of them. As long as the theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Part A, given secant theta equals negative two, and angle theta is in quadrant two. We call the secant theta is one over cosine theta. That means the cosine theta is negative one over two. Our goal is to find an angle theta. Now we are going to use the reference angles. Remember the reference angles is always acute. To find the reference angles, theta hat, we ignore the negative sign. That means the cosine of the reference angle theta hat is one over two. You can use the calculator by rewriting the theta hat as the inverse cosine of one over two, and then hit the key inverse cosine, enter the number one over two. You should get the theta hat as 60 degrees. We call the theta hat always acute angle or between zero degree and 90 degrees. So now we are going to find out what is an angle theta. We call it in quadrant two. In quadrant two, the theta hat is the difference between the terminal side and the closest x-axis, which is 180 degrees. The theta, which terminates in quadrant two. Therefore, from the theta hat equals 180 degrees minus theta. So the theta is 180 minus the theta hat. Our theta now is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees or 120 degrees as the answer. Next example, the tangent theta equals square root three and an angle terminates in the third quadrant. The tangent theta, this is a positive sign. So we just use the same, same one to find the theta hat. So find the theta hat or the reference angles. From the tangent theta hat or the tangent of the reference angles equals square root three. The reference angles is the inverse tangent of square root three. Use a calculator or use a, the unit circle or the table of the exact value. The theta hat will be 60 degrees. Now we're gonna find the theta. Since the theta is located in the third quadrant, by definition of the reference angles in the third quadrant, the theta hat or the reference angles let's write it down the in the third quadrant the reference angles is from the original angle theta which is in the third quadrant subtracted by 180 degrees therefore the theta or the angle that we are looking for will be the reference angles added by 180 degrees. In this case, the angle theta will be 60 degrees plus 180 degrees or 210 degrees as a result. No, 240 degrees, sorry. Number two, use the calculator to find the theta hat. Nah. 
Next, we are going to use the calculator to find an angle theta to the nearest tenth of a degree. If an angle theta is between zero degree and 360 degrees and all co-terminal angles. Part A, the side of theta is negative 0 0.8243. And the angle theta terminates in quadrant three. In this part, we're gonna use the calculator to find an angle theta to the nearest tenth of a degree. If an angle theta is greater than zero degree, less than 360 degrees, and all co-terminal angles. In part A, side of angle theta is negative 0 0.8243, and an angle theta terminates in quadrant three. First of all, find the angle theta hat or the reference angle. Ignore the negative sign. So sign of theta hat is 0 0.8243. And angle theta hat or the reference angles is the inverse sign of 0 0.8243. Use the calculator that should give us um, 55.5 degrees. We call we round to the next 10th degree, the degree. After we get the reference angle, the theta hat, now we're going to find the theta, which terminates in quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, the theta hat or the reference angles is the difference of an angle theta and 180 degrees. That means the theta is the reference angles added by 180 degrees. So in this case, the theta is 55.5 degrees plus 180 degrees, or it is 235.5 degrees. And next part, we're gonna find all co-terminal co -terminal angles. So all co-terminal angles will be 235.5 degrees plus 360 degrees multiplied by k, where k is an integer. We call 360 degrees, 360 degrees is one revolution. Next example, the cotangent theta is negative 2.16 and theta terminates in the second quadrant. First, by the reference angle theta hat. Again, ignore the negative sign. Since the theta hat of the reference angle is always an acute angle. The cotangent of the theta hat, which is 2.16. On your calculator, you have psi, cosine, or the tangent, or the inverse psi, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. So now we're going to use the relationship that the cotangent is 1 over the tangent of an angle. That means the tangent of the theta hat is the reciprocal of 2.16. We find the theta hat by using the inverse tangent button and enter 1 over 2.16 value. The calculator will give you 24.8. Then we round to the nearest, nearest tenth of the degree. So the theta hat or the reference angles is 24.8 degrees. And next, use the theta hat to find the, the theta. In the second quadrant, if you draw the diagram in the second quadrant, 
the reference angles is defined by 180 degrees minus the original angle theta, or the difference of the x-axis and the terminal side. That means the theta is 180 degrees minus the reference angle, which is 180 degrees minus 24.8 degrees. That gives us 155.2 degrees as an angle terminate in quadrant two. That gives the cool tangent theta as negative 2.16. The next part, we break the all core terminal angles. The core all core terminal angles is an angle theta, which is 155.2 degrees plus 360 degrees multiplied by k, where k is an integer.